So have you just started using OBS and started to experience choppy and laggy video records? Now probably you want to get rid of them. In this video I will show you exactly that. So make sure to stay tuned because that's coming right up. How are you guys doing? I'm Muni from Design with Muni and welcome to another video. And if you're new to my channel and want to learn logo design, graphic design, tips and tricks and all that kind of good stuff, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss anything. So recently I just upgraded my uh, hardware and software on and on uh, to record uh, full HD videos so that I can record full HD videos. And in this video I'm going to show you how you can go from this to this. So without wasting any time, let's open the OBS. So without wasting, so without wasting any time, let's open up OBS. Now in the OBS, now oh, by the way, if you want this dark theme, let's go open up to settings and set the theme to dark. You can easily set the theme to dark. Now uh, the main things, uh, of course, they are not in here. They are in the output setting. Now if you're streaming, you can easily take care of that. But uh, I don't stream much, so I only take care of recording. So by default, I think the recording format is set to, uh, what was that, FLV or something like that. Um, but don't use uh, FLV, uh, use MP4 if your computer can handle that. Now if uh, the, your computer cannot handle MP4, use FLV and then use a, a software like uh, Form Factory to convert it into MP4. Now uh, it's very important that the rate control is set to CBR and uh, the bitrate is set to 4000. Uh, you can set the keyframe interval to 2 seconds and uh, set the CPU usage to now if uh, you set it super fast and things don't work out very fine you can set it to ultra fast. Now let's move on to video. Now uh, the important things are these two so the downscale filter and the common FPS values. Now the downscale filter these are basically the three options they are the the linear and the bicubic and the third one. The third one I don't remember exactly, but that's the that's your go-to filter. Like that's the best you can get. But uh, of course, we are trying to fix lag. So in this case, you can set bicubic or linear. In this case, I have set the filter to bicubic. And now uh, comes the FPS values. Now, if you have set this to 60, you will see that it's kind of uh, like lags like crazy. And that's why I've set this to 30. You can try with 35, 40, and but 30 kind of works fine for me. So these are all the settings you may want to configure correctly in order to get a lag free video so this is it for this video i hope you enjoyed this video if you did then make sure to leave a like on the video if you loved it then make sure to subscribe check out other awesome content on the channel this has been money and until then see you later